Hi, this is Abhijit and you are watching AB Study Circle. Do like, comment, share and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any video from AB Study Circle. In this video, we have taken a question that has been asked in UPSC IES exam in 2003. The question is like this. Air is contained in a piston cylinder arrangement with a cross-sectional area of 4 cm square and initial volume 20 cm cube. Air is initially at pressure 1 bar and 20 degree Celsius. It is connected to piston having a spring whose stiffness value is 100 Newton per cm and is initially deformed. Right. How much heat should be added to air so as to increase its pressure to 3 bar. Okay, so let's start the question with the given values. Okay, given. We have P1 as 1 bar, which means it will be equal to 1 into 10 to the power 5 Newton per meter square or 100 kilopascal right again we have P2 3 bar three bar that is 3 into 10 to the power 5 Newton per meter square or 300 kilopascal ok again we have initial volume as 20 centimeter cube V1 as 20 centimeter cube that is 20 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter cube right I am changing these values in standard SI units again we have T1 initial temperature as 20 degree Celsius 20 degree Celsius and if we convert it into Kelvin it will be 293 Kelvin because Kelvin is equal to degree Celsius plus 273 right and what other thing is stiffness value KS stiffness value is given as 100 Newton per centimeter or it can be written as 100 into 10 to the power 2 Newton per meter right ok any other thing we left yes the area cross sectional area is given as 4 centimeter square that is 4 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter square ok these all things are given now we have to find out what heat input d cut q so first of all we draw the case like this the initial at initial position that is p1 right initial case that is p1 we have v1 and we have t1 this is a spring loaded this similarly there is a, another case when the heat is transferred right the piston moves upwards like this because heat is transferred with the help of any uh, output source right to the piston cylinder arrangement it can be a Benson burner it's P2 
it's v2 and it's t2 right now when the piston displaced this is your x distance the piston is displayed displaced right this is case 1 before heating or when the spring is undeformed and the second case when the piston is uh, moved upward and the spring is deformed and heat is given so that the pressure changes to P2 likewise. Now as we got this so uh, start with starting with your free body diagram free body diagram for case 1 if we see the piston only the piston section if we take this piston we see that there is one force P1 which is acting upwards right and we have the pressure due to the piston as PP and another the atmospheric pressure that is P AT right for case 1 for case 2 if we see this is your P2 which is acting upwards PP that is the pressure due to the piston a piston weight this is your P atmosphere and uh, now as the spring is deformed there will be a pressure due to this spring so if we uh, calculate P1 it will be equal to PP plus P ATM ok put this as equation 1 in Roman here we have P2 equal to PP plus P ATM plus PS now if we see from this PP plus P ATM can be written as P1 because it's equal to P1 the equilibrium equation so P2 can be written as P1 plus PS now as we know that uh, PS can be written as P2 minus P1 we know P2 and P1 that is it's your one uh, three bar and it's one bar so it will be two bar or it will be equal to 2 into 10 to the power of 5 Newton per meter square or 200 kilopascal ok we got this now see now we have PS as 2 into 10 to the power 5 Newton per meter square square sorry per meter square what is PS PS is nothing but FS by A what is FS the spring force per unit area is pressure due to this spring right what is FS FS is nothing but KS KS into X by A we know PS as 2 into 10 to the power 5 what is KS we know it from here as 100 into 10 to the power 2 Newton per meter 100 into 10 to the power 2 Newton per meter into X we don't know and area we know as 
फोर इंटू टेन टू दावर माइनस फोर मीटर स्क्वायर फ्रॉम हियर इफ वी सिंप्लीफाई दिस वी गेट द एक्स एज पॉइंट एट इंटू टेन टू दावर माइनस टू मीटर और पॉइंट एट सेंटीमीटर ओके we got this x what is the x it is the distance the piston displayed displaced when heat is input into the system right so if we see the volume change due to this uh, heat transferred into the system it will be area cross sectional area of the piston and the distance displaced by the piston right what is uh, change in volume that is v2 minus v1 is equal to a into x from here we can get v2 as ax plus v1 what is a it is nothing but it's 4 into 10 to the power minus 4 into x is 0.8 into 10 to the power minus 2 we just calculated plus v1 we know that it's 20 into 10 to the power minus 6 all in meter cube and meter square or meter right so we get the final value as 23 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter cube okay we get this v2 balls now if we plot this in a pv plot like this v and p c for state 1 p1 is your 100 kilo pascal and v1 as 20 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter cube right where for v2 For state two, P two will be hundred kilo pascal, and V one will be twenty three into ten to the power minus six meter cube. This is state two. This is state one. If we draw a line, the area under the curve will tell us the work done. Now, so work done for this will be. work done will be half into 3 into 10 to the power minus 6 into 200 we are putting like this first we are calculating the area of this triangle that is half into base into height this is the base will be 3 into 10 to the power minus 6 into height will be 200 we are subtracting this plus the area of this rectangle that will be 3 into 10 to the power minus 6 into 100 so answer will be 6 into 10 to the power minus 4 kilo joule right okay we got this now what will be the mass will uh, mass of the gas or air will be pv by rt 
right initially p1 v1 by r t1 what is p1 p1 is 100 kilopascal what is v1 that is 20 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter cube by what is r r of r is the gas constant for air for air it is 0.287 kJ per kg kelvin what is p1 293 right so if we calculate this it will come around 2.3 8 into 10 to the power minus 5 kg. Okay. Now, see as mass is constant, means P1 V1 by R T1 is equal to P2 V2 by R T2. If you see this. we can calculate t2 from here by as p2 v2 into t1 by p1 v1 here everything is known p2 is given as 300 and v2 as 23 we have calculated this one P one is what two ninety three. P one is we know as hundred kilopascal into twenty into ten to the power minus three. It is also given, and the value will come around one zero one one Kelvin. Okay, we also got this T two. Now, if you see change in internal energy, D U is equal to m Cv T two minus T one. This is the equation. Mass we know two point three eight into ten to the power minus five. What is Cv? Cv for air is zero point seven one eight kilojoule per kg Kelvin. T two we just calculated one zero one one minus. 293 it is given in the question itself it comes as 0.0123 kJ okay so we know du we know work done so for first law d cut q is equal to du Plus d cut w, d u is zero point zero one two three plus d cut w is the work done that is six into ten to the power minus four kilojoule. So the final answer will be zero point zero one three kilojoule or thirteen. joule so this is the heat that will be transferred to the system to get the pressure as 300 kilopascal at state 2